Hi, this is Graham Jacob. Now, I like this next story. Jimmy Carr, okay, displayed a bit of authority when he was able to throw out a heckler when he was, uh, I imagine, doing one of his stand-up routines. Not sure, and I, I never got to see the full article. Just going by the headlines. But this is really bizarre. Now, comedy at the moment, well, some mostly comedy is a one-way street. You have a person using their experience and reasoning to discuss issues going on in the world and using their individual uh, humour. So you only get a one-sided perspective on things, some mostly. But I want to contrast this behaviour with Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago because Jesus was under the same circumstances. You see, Jesus is a Jew, right? And there were certain places Jesus preached. They, preaching is like the equivalent of Jimmy Carr doing his stand-up routine or whatever he was doing. Now, many rabbis and many Jews were hecklers like this guy at the Jimmy Carr sh uh, show. Now, the way Jesus dealt with the situation is far different because there's no hope in the message of Jimmy Carr's comedy routine, however funny it may be. There's no reason why a member of the audience should follow Jimmy Carr because most people can make observations in the world. Now, Jesus could have, uh, as I said, could have done the same thing. You see, Jimmy said to the, the heckler, get him out of the bleep, bleeping building, right? He used his authority, okay? But Jesus had equally the same authority to do very similar with who he encountered. But he trusted God, right? But Jesus involved the hecklers. Jesus talked with the hecklers, right? Sometimes he wasn't successful. Like in the case of a, I think it was the rich Jew, and he said, oh, what must I do to gain heaven? And he says, give up all your riches. And because he was rich, he didn't want to do that. So he wasn't successful all the time. But Jesus offered him what it was he had to do. But why, why is Jimmy not allowing the heckler to come up on stage and talk in a public way because we want to know the the mentality of people because a human is a victim to their lifestyle Jimmy believes that this heckler had a lifestyle that wasn't beneficial to him and he used that to remove him now Equally, society permits all these different kind of lifestyles, but are the lifestyles justified? You see, I'm not judging the humans that uh, choose the lifestyle. I am concentrating my effort on the lifestyle itself. Is it beneficial? Now, why does Jimmy Carr not use reasoning? Because 
He can reason in humour quite well, mostly. I'm a bit surprised. What d Does he not have the same faith to do it when it's a... Uh, something that will be publicly heard? I mean, I'm guessing he won't have had time to prepare, but that's what happens in life. You do not get your opportunity to prepare, and that's why people make bad choices. You see, Jimmy Carr took the easy road out. He had the heckler removed. But I would have wanted to keep the heckler and get the heckler to change their heart to become an unheckler, for want of a better word. You see, Zacchaeus the tax collector had his heart changed as a result of talking with Jesus. Jimmy Carr did not have the strength of his education, his experience, his belief in atheism, his lifestyle, to get this heckler and get this heckler to confront this lifestyle he or she has chosen. Anyway, gotta go.